we're, we're here to dump on Chelsea, and, and hey, I can handle it! All right, but we're gonna have a great time. We're gonna have a great time. And I'm bringing you guys in. Hi. Welcome Hi. our Faye, everyone. Hi. <gasps> and if you Hi. haven't seen these wonderful, wonderful streamers, and, and today they are moonlighting as their Faye, we're gonna go around and have them introduce themselves and then we'll talk about their characters. But first, Cleo! Can we get your streamer intro? Where can they find you? Streamer Ooh, intro. Do. Yeah. Hello. I'm Cleopatra Jones, and uh, I stream at twitch.tv slash Cleopatra Jones. I'm a variety streamer. I play just about everything with a focus on story-based and adventure games. So I'm really excited to dive into my first tabletop adventure slash, I guess now, PC adventure as well. It's going to be 10 out of 10. Now, of course, over here, we got Jahara. Now, please. Introduce yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, everyone. I'm Jahara. I stream over at Jahara J, obviously on Twitch. I wasn't expecting to do an intro, but hi, I stream RPG games. This is my first D&D session. I have no idea what I'm doing, but I like role play and I'm a really big theater kid. I'm also a cosplayer. So this is like right in my alley. It's solid. Oh yeah. <laughs> and hey, not, last but definitely not least at all. We have Crystalline, and if you would like me to do your intro, I could gas you up all day. Oh, oh bet, bet, bet. Let's do this. So let me tell you when I first met Crystal, okay? We were out here, they were out there playing Tekken. It was lit, they were whooping behind. And when I, when you hear the energy, when you hear just the amount of just fun and, and v v veracity coming out in the same. <laughs> Yo, you. I'm on in the chat like she loves it. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Good. Yeah, because that's what I'm here for. Praise. Oh Crystal God. is so fun. Please, please check out her stream. She is just. Any game she's playing, anything that she's doing, it's full All we of do is life. Uh, yeah, do and it's violent. violent. And I, you know, y'all know me, right? Mm -hmm. We choose violence <laughs> over here. <laughs> As do I. I do want you guys to go through and do just a short synopsis of your characters because I cannot describe your character the best way you could. All right, so uh, I play as a fairy character in D&D, which is actually pretty new, but we'll figure it out as we go. Uh, my character's name is Sigan Sul, which I tried to look up a lot of information on what those runes mean, but it's supposed to mean sunflower. Um, I use C for short, which is actually short for my actual name, which is C. So anyways, um, I'm a rogue. So I'm pretty intimidating. I use a lot of uh, persuasion skills and I'm an investigation. I also have like a little sage personality. So I will go out of the way to look for like hidden secrets and things like that. Um, and I'm also fairly friendly to humans. You know, some people aren't, some people are, but I have like a good interaction with them. And I like to, any way I get information, especially if it involves talking to humans or trying to steal it from humans, I will do it. So yeah, that's pretty much where I'm at. I'm just the intimidating, angry person and I speak up for everybody even when I'm not supposed to. <laughs> there we go. So we got our girl C and it's so great to see. Okay, yo, stop. Anyway, my character's <laughs> name is Yoru and she is a fairy rogue. She has a very naive and soft and gorgeous of any so, so, so myself appearance. Um, when she was younger, she had a fascination with humans that would go in and out of her forest um, even though her friends and family told her that she should be careful. Uh, one day she decided that she would go hang out with this human boy that she saw. And as a result, she was captured and sent into several years of slavery, unfortunately. Um, she was then uh, released one day when those ban of humans, which turned out to be thieves, um, ran into a celestial being and accidentally stole some stuff from them. They were killed. She was released. She hung out with the celestials. As a result, though, after those many years, her trusting personality turned into more one of untrust, cold, and deceit. I hate humans. Unlike uh, C over here, no humans are to be trusted. Everything that comes out of their mouth is garbage or stupidity. Yes. Um, I won't let anybody know that I meet, that I don't trust them, uh, and I won't let, let anyone know what my actual personality is until I can tell what it is that you want, and I assume that everybody wants something. I'm also an archer, and I will only kill you from afar to make sure that I am safe. Yes. 
so beautiful. And you see how people are just like agreeing with you. You were like, I hate humans. And they were like, mood. <laughs> A word. <laughs> now, of course, we have to get to Cleo's character. And I can't yeah. wait to hear what you have for us. Um, so I am Feline. I am a wood elf druid of noble blood. Unfortunately, as a child, my father, um, a curse was put upon our family. So they say upon my birth. And uh, so my father, instead of killing me as the angry mob wanted me to, left me in the forest because um, he couldn't do it. And I was found by a bear whom transformed into a druid and took me into her tribe of warrior uh, wood elves and druid elves where uh, they raised me up to be a, a carer of the woods. As you would say, I guess that's a way, like, a, you know, someone to watch over the woods and all who dwell within it. Um, at a certain age, about a hundred years in elf years, you have to go through a trial um, called Liaria. And during the trial, um, if you pass it, you're basically the uh, lanai of the tribe. So you kind of like the, uh, how do the humans say? How Dora do the humans Malahi, say? The Dora, Dora Malaji. Dora Malaji. In, the, in that yeah. movie. It's kind of like that, where you're part of the select few of warriors who go off into the world to um, lend their services to other people, forests, and animals in need. Um, yeah. I can wild shape and transform into a couple different animals. So we'll see where our travels take us. So, so you see how, you know, us humans are out here taking little pieces from Bay culture out here and they did it first. They did it first. And Feline is ready to show y'all how it's actually done. But all right, so I'm gonna take you guys and we're gonna go and start setting the scene. And that means it's gonna be just you and me, chat, okay? It's gonna be just you and me. I will catch our fairies in a second as we set up for our next scene. See you guys in a little bit. All right, guys, it's just you and me. And we are going to open our adventure in a clearing in the forest, deep in the Feywilds, wilds, where magical creatures they, they bounce through and they frolic and laugh and have a good time and may get slain by the occasional orc. But hey, life is good. Life is free. This is where you ought to be if you are a magical creature. Our three are here walking through the woods, going to meet up with an old woman that hangs out in the woods. They've never caught her name because she's a human and they don't care. But she's very nice and she leaves out nice snacks and they'd like to see what she's got. So as they're walking through, they're taking in the sights, they're taking in the warm air. They see their friends galloping through the forest, all of the deer and all of the other fairies. They all come into a clearing. And this is where we begin our adventure. Are you guys ready? Are you guys ready to play? Yes. Oh, I'm terrified. Oh God, I'm scared. I'm, terrified? I'm scared for my for my story. <laughs> so all of you arrive into this clearing. The the air smells very very nice and relaxing. It's very chill, <laughs> for a lack of better words. You arrive to the old woman's hut and it seems very peaceful. There's a fire going. You think there might be the scent of raspberry croissants being made, maybe some chocolate. What do you guys do? Well, first of all, I think that C should go in first because I don't even want to be here. All right, I'm going for you, but only for you. Um, I'm gonna move in and uh, investigate. You go in and you look around and it seems pretty peaceful. Seems really chill. The door, while the door is open, it is closed. <laughs> the door is closed and as you walk up, you see a sign on the door. And it says, be back in 30 minutes, old crone. So 
it's signed old crone? She signed, signed old, old crone. <laughs> yes. She absolutely did. And I mean, well, if she's not here, I don't locked? see the problem in going inside when she's not yeah, here. It, we could just take locked? things. Are y'all doing this? Are y'all doing this? Y'all, y'all gonna break into our house? It's, y'all wanna break yeah, it? I'm, I'm, we're just asking if it's locked. I, I'm she, just a little curious. You can, she makes things for us anything. anyway. Can Why can't we just go in, take them, and leave? See, What's the problem? Gonna, y'all, I knew this was gonna happen. I knew it. No, we don't have to steal anything. We can leave money on the counter. It's fine. Exactly. Yeah. What does she even can... need money for? She's in the middle of the forest. Well, can we knock? I mean, <laughs> you can knock. Please. Good idea. Let's knock. You don't have to go. You know, there's no jail in the woods. Yeah, she forgot so... to take the sign down. <laughs> so, so <laughs> you take to knock, please. All right. So you knock on the door. No one responds. Perfect. Here, we can go in. <laughs> you, you, you. <laughs> if you try the door, you will notice that it is locked. But the windows are huge. These humans, huh. you know, they, they don't leave their their windows closed. You know, if your fairy friends want, wanna we go, where we want. <laughs> go in. You Why don't you guys them. check? And I'll I'll stay I'll guard outside. I'll just kinda yes, look around. I will go bit. inside and check. Okay. I think it's clear. I'll go with you because <laughs> Lord knows if you find some other human, you'll just chat with them before they kill well, you. you. Know, when you get inside, open the door so I can come in. I don't really want to stand out here that long. All right. Mm-hmm. So, right, that way you're not breaking in. The door was open. You're right. Okay, so I'm going to go through the window and come around and open the door. All right. <laughs> so as a rogue, you know what that means, right? You can squeeze through pretty easily. I, I, won't, mm-hmm. even, I won't even give you any trouble there. But um, unlocking that door might prove a little troublesome. I will have you make a strength check. Strength? Yeah. That's it? Yeah, it's just, it's a really simple lock, you know, literally just a twist. It's all about whether your body can just push up on it. Hmm. Roll a 10. And it it is that simple, because I added your, yeah, it's that simple. Mm -hmm. You open it up, no, no, no problems at all. So you guys have successfully broken into the old crone's home. Nice. Excellent, let's go in. What do you mean? We didn't break anything. (sighs) So you walk in, and it seems it seems really, really chill, guys. You know, she's got her fruit laid out. She's making her, she's making her pies. She's got some pies up on her counter. It's a really humble home. There's there's really nothing of true value to you other than maybe the fruits, and the apples and the pumpkins and the cheese. She seems like a very avid baker. Cheese. Uh, what about this little, this little chest right here? What's that? This little trunk. Oh, you oh, right are here. you What's gonna that? oh, are you gonna open Who's the, the rogue here? <laughs> <laughs> I just was asking. I just, I'm just curious. I'm a curious. <laughs> oh, no, I can't help it. I'm sorry. I see no problem with just opening it. We don't, we don't have to take what's inside. I mean, unless we want it, we don't know. <laughs> just looking. It's fine. I love how I love you both there. so very, very much. But if you just lift it slightly. I could probably squeeze in and see what's in there and let you know. I don't, oh, I thought possible? you'd put up a fuss. <laughs> Me? I'm not a fussy. We haven't even begun our adventure and already you, we're causing What do you problems. mean you're not a fussy? You were like, don't break into the old crone's home. Eh? The <laughs> only time I was fussy was when a flaming tree landed on me and you wouldn't let me live it down. Okay, listen, that was the past. Let's move on together, you people, please. should have ran please. faster. <laughs> Let's move on. Okay, I'm sorry. I would like to attempt to open the chest in the home the that chest. we've broken into. Oh, great DM. Oh yeah. I am behind you. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. If you're gonna, you're gonna lift it up. So I'll say that you lift it up enough for C to squeeze inside. All right. Now All C. Right. What's in there? You see a lot of books. Lots oh. and lots of Ooh. books. Mm-hmm. Oh, I Maybe books. the odd necklace and maybe, you know, the odd coin purse huh the odd coin purse? maybe two maybe two coin purses we're Might not stealing some, this one you look money. inside you see some copper pieces you <laughs> see some silver pieces we don't need it we don't Why need not? it we've already got you if, if, so I'll, say, I'll say you're telling them what you find you telling them as you see hey guys i found some fair. books yes i'm sorry <laughs> i found no yeah, no I'm you're really good about the books 
<laughs> no, can we open this just so I can read the books fully because... Yeah, you try to... You can open it pretty easily. You peer open into a book and you don't quite understand the language. But it looks huh. like it's written really intensely. Like someone's mm -hmm. almost angry. Oh. A bit. Can we do something oh. to figure out what language it is? Maybe I can read it? You could, if if you can get the book out, or if you want to go in and read it, then absolutely. Let me see. Yeah, what, we can see let me dark, try. So you can just come in out here to it. Let me go in. Let me see. I'm going to have you come in, and I want you to roll a d20 for your insight. All right. I want to see if you can just kind of pull it from within. Fifty shades of faith. Fifty shades of of faith. Let's see. Can we keep that hand? You roll and you kind of read it and you're like, I don't know what this is. <laughs> <laughs> it seems like gibberish to me. Hmm. Hmm. If I can't read it, Human then it's scribblings. stupid. It's stupid. Hmm. It is stupid if I can't read it. Probably anything. right. Hmm. Yoru 100% thinks this whole thing, this whole book is stupid and just drops it out of disinterest. Hmm. But you do see the gold coins and the silver pieces and the copper pieces. And you do see the necklaces. There are a few fine things in there. So see, I did hear Feline say that we can't take this woman's money. But I didn't say we couldn't. I just said we shouldn't. <laughs> okay. Is that, uh, would you be absolutely incensed if we did? Whatever befalls are you upon asking us. asking me or telling me? I am because ready to handle whatever falls upon us. Go ahead, whatever see, take it. befalls upon you, if you take this jewelry and things. I'm not. I'm not responsible. I'll go ahead and talk like this for the next two minutes. So you get. I, I'm so sorry. I know this hurts to listen to, but that's the point. So I will let them talk more. I'll only do this for two minutes. So at 12:53, I will absolutely stop. Okay, but I'm gonna write oh, your name. <laughs> Is the DM okay? No. Okay. No, I'm kind of blown Ill? away. Um, no, I you don't even mind me. I don't exist in this universe. I'm just watching over you like the omniscient god I am. But I'm just enjoying the story. I don't know. Yeah. Can we investigate the rest I of this cabin so I can see if she's like some evil witch first? How about that? That. Human equals evil. How many times do we have to explain this to you? Shh. I feel like we can know, move on. I know, I know. Leave the door. So let me do it anyway. As you guys are trying to steal from this woman's <laughs> house, you hear you hear a distressed voice outside. Ah! Help me! Help me! Oh! I can't find. Huh? Where did she go? Where's Lily? Where's Lily? Guys, can you help? Help, please. Hello. Is it another fairy? What oh, okay. on earth is that voice? I'm sorry, I just, this is how I was born and I can't change it and I promise it'll go away. It's like, it's going away now. So yeah, so we're back and I'm normal. <laughs> <laughs> Firstly, calm yourself. So you see her running into the clearing and she's just like, oh, she's so exhausted. She's like, oh, oh I'm looking for Lily. I can't find her. Uh, I, I was hoping to, oh, Crone had see her. I, I really need help. I, there were those other mean fairies out there bullying her. And, and I know, I think their names are like Zack or Frack and Knack. I don't, I don't know their names, but they're rude. And, uh, I now just... I have evidence of rudeness and meanness. I just say we go stab people. Are you guys ready? Because, I mean, I'll, you can come back. Who's Lily? Let her speak. Okay. Who's Lily? Oh, oh, I thank you for being so considerate and listening to my story. I appreciate that. Lily's yeah. my sister, and she's really small. Like, I'm small, but she's really, really small for a fairy. And I think people just like to yeah. pick on her because her voice sounds even higher than mine. And, oh. Please. Please. <laughs> that so point us in the, in the direction. Is, can you can you point us in the direction of said fairy? Yes. Absolutely, I can. I think the last time I heard her, she was out playing in the woods. So, Feline goes to the edge of the forest very gracefully and you know mystically and all of the ease. And sees nothing. My hand <laughs> and it just looks and you're like, that's a lot of grass. <laughs> Me, of the forest. I can only see grass. So you guys come across the scene where you see 
large, four larger fairies, and they seem to be bullying this much smaller fairy that you might think is Lily. And they're all just kind of laughing at her, and they're throwing, you know, dirt and little, you know, dirt clods at her, and they're just like, ah! You're so small! In. It's nope, ridiculous! <laughs> Look at how small she is, everyone! You call yourself a fairy? Fairies are supposed to be small, not insignificant, <clears throat> not invisible, not irrelevant, like and she's just oh. like, ah. <laughs> I just wanted to go and pick flowers in the forest! Why are you being so mean to me? I'm it's just like, saying, it's absolutely flowers. unacceptable for a fairy to be be bullying Faye when there are bigger fish to fry out here. Exactly. All right. Well, my first action, I would like to shoot an arrow at one of them. Maybe the one with the biggest mouth. That would be great. Thank Ooh. you. Absolutely. So go Please. ahead and roll that to hit. So just a d20, and then I'll let you know what you add on with that. It was fine. It's just a six. A nine. I rolled a nine. Mm. Very nice. Very nice. And you have a plus eight to hit. Of course. <laughs> so that's very, very good. And you hit this fairy and you clip her wing. Bow. She she kind of teeters a bit. If you remember, flight is magical. You don't need a wing to fly. But yeah. but it does. And she's like, oh, oh, I, I was keeping that shiny for the for the face celebration next week. Oh, how <laughs> dare you? We care. Deal with it. Deal with it. Oh, Deal you. with it. Nice shot, Yoru. Well done. Well done, well I done indeed. Ah! Ah! Yeah. Girls, please. I need help. And and they all kind of go around her. So clearly, you hit the queen fairy of this little posse here. Obviously. And oh, to get these queen hands. How you doing? Right. You, you mm. hurt her. You hurt her. She's like, ah! ow, 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 ow. And they're already kind of scared. But you see the other three fairies, kind of like, huh? Mm dare you? Hello? What are you all oh, doing in my woods making all of this ruckus? Oh no, Who's it's what? a human. Ma'am? Hello? I hear magic? What Don't worry, you? I've got this. So you Who's see this? the old woman walk through the woods, the old crone, and you would know her because you've talked to her multiple times. And mm. she seems, she seems a bit bigger than you're used to. Uh, on earth? Yeah, she's, she's oh, a bit um, large, and she's like, What? Now I know! You're not in here bullying again! Frack! Knack! Jack and whack! Leave! Get out of here before I step on you! And and they all fly away. They, they, they get out of here. <laughs> Am I and, able to ask the old crone what that was about? Well, have you ever heard of enlarging a person? That well, sounds you need awful. To enlarge yourself with fairies. Enlarging. It is quite, but it's very useful when you're trying to get rid of a, a welcome guests. Is that mm. because you can't get rid of them yourself with your own physical power? I mean, no offense, I just want to know. I prefer not to fight. I like to scare these little fairies and let them be, so... It's, it's much less effort that way. I have so many of these laying around. Is there a frog in your Humans throat? Humans are always chance? using <laughs> magic in its most disgusting ways. Honestly. So all of these fairies, they yeah. disappear, and you guys bring Lily back to the clearing, and you have Anna fly through. She says, oh my god, Lily! Oh, I'm so glad you're safe. You know you're supposed to keep one wing on me at all times. What did I teach you? Did you learn anything? Huh? And she Aww. says, I'm so sorry. I just really wanted to go pick flowers in the forest. And she's like, how dare you? You know to stay with me. And, and you're... No more poppin' heart cakes for the rest of the day. And she's like, oh, oh, oh. Thank you yeah. Well, thank you all for waiting. It's so <laughs> great to see you all here. I had a favor to ask of you. And yes, if, indeed. If there's no Absolutely time not. to waste, I have a problem. And I need everyone's, I need all of your helps. You eat so many of my chocolate raspberry croissants. You might as well help me out. So... I need you guys to go and find a toadstool for me. I promise I'll, I'll make it worth your time. If you just go out into the woods and get me this toadstool, I'll give you all the gold I have in my trunk. Yoru, is that good? I mean, we could have just taken it, but you know, yes, it's fine. 
Let's go. Wait, did you I say take it? No, 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 no sorry. No, she <laughs> said uh, make it. Never said we can make it. We there. can make it. Yeah, we can just make it there. Uh, it Wait. must be the raccoons. I see my doors open. <laughs> Oh, yeah, there, we tried to uh, scurry them away from your home as we happened upon your, your it cabin. It must have been Whack and his stupid cronies, right? Oh, oh yeah, oh, those, those, ter oh, those terrible fairies. Whack must have broken into my house again. Oh, Whack, I'll get you! Oh, look at, this, look at this mess they made. Oh, oh there's a fairy in here. Who's <laughs> oh, this? Oh, somebody touching my trunk? <laughs> I am drinking, please calm down. <laughs> Uh, 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 which way did you say uh, Tulsa was? Because I would like mm -hmm. to scurry off quickly and get away from this woman <sighs> before she finds out that we were in her stuff. So, right. as we are setting up our next scene, guys, you are going to choose where we go next. I'm going to put this in the chat, all right? As our fairies take a break, and you can go ahead and go on, because we're about to <laughs> do that. We're about to do that setup. So, Everybody in chat, get your oh. fingers ready. You're gonna pick where we take Fair our break. adventure and where they run to, all right? See you guys in a second, and we'll get this popping. I'm hyped. I'm really, really hyped. All right, see y'all in a bit. Well, it seems like you picked the caves. How treacherous of you. You guys want to dive deep into the valley, all right? And what we will see when we walk into this grand map is a giant cavern, which leads to more caverns and more caverns. You get a cavern, you get a cavern, and you get a cavern. Caverns everywhere. And there will be quite the treacherous journey for our fae, everyone. And, and I know what you're doing here. I know what you're doing. And you succeeded, all right? You, you, you thwarted my plans. You thwarted all my plans. And we will have quite the adventure turn. Possibilities have been opened and possibilities have been closed. As you dive further into your adventure, into the depths. And here we go, guys. You have chosen the Valley of Caves. And here we are in the Valley of Caves. You guys were given a direct directive, as repu as redundant as that was, to go and find a purple toadstool from the old crow back at the hut. This is the Valley of Caves, and you see the river flowing down below. It, it is quite a fall. If you look, it's probably around 100 feet down. Uh, the foliage grows out, out off of these rocks, and it sounds so peaceful. This is the epitome of peace here as you walk down through this giant valley. And you might find some hidden treasures as you go through. There's a lot to see here. Quite a bit. As you guys are talking, Pickering. Pickering rustle. is the proper word. Come on now. <laughs> you hear a rustle behind you. All right. And you see an elf fall out of the grass. And she's like, oh, oh, God. What the heck? Where am I? Hello, fellow elf. I'm side-eyeing the elf really hard. Like, what, you as don't know where you are? It's as, not obvious? As are you the okay? gods above have completed the 115 dollar goal Woo! Wow. Woo! wonderful gods I am praise be now me. in here playing praise the sun with everyone oh what are you guys doing out here what's going on oh that's how uh, you talk okay same um, question you? to you fellow elf honestly <laughs> i was just out in and i was you know just hanging around places and suddenly poof i was here i think oh. the gods are at it again I don't huh. know what I deserve okay. to okay. I don't know what I did well, to deserve is. this. Oh I man. sense I sense some celestial energy from this are, are you are you a celestial? I might be. You might be? I hmm. might be. You Who's might ask it. Say something I will say something in celestial to her. I speak celestial as well, so I'd like to talk to her. I mean I also just I speak elf. We can just talk elf to elf. I no, talk, no, no. We just I wanna can... determine whether she is celestial, if she can speak the language. Ah, I see. And then we'll speak English. 
or comment, excuse me. Definitely. So you go and you talk elf, and you also both kind of talk celestial. You guys do it at the same time. She's like, whoa, whoa, whoa. okay, slow down, slow down, slow down. <laughs> Y'all were saying a lot of things, and I think there was some insults mixed in there. I see. Oh, definitely. Yeah. I don't know what you're talking about. Uh -huh. hmm. I'm sure you don't. I'm sure you don't. I don't know why I'm here. I'm pretty sure I'm just here to help you guys out. So let's get this done. You speak to We would I'm love to have it. your assistance. But what is your open. name? Who are you? Me? <laughs> yes. You? You... Nobody's asking. Nah, nah, nah the before. sword. What's the sword's name? Oh, the sword's name. Oh, yeah. This yeah, is... huh? I knew that would get you. This is a neck slicer here. <laughs> Ooh, <excuse me. laughs> you want to go check out the ruins over here? I mean, yeah, is that the it. direction we're supposed to? Well, no, I guess we're I supposed to go any direction. But... I think we're just I mean, looking... we gotta check everything out. It looks it looks kind of wild over here, to be honest. Uh, it's pretty. I don't know if you. Is there any moisture? Because I mean, if there's mushrooms. You know, oh yeah, you know, there's tons for... of stuff growing over here. Guys. Let's go look. It's... Yeah, go I'd, look. I'd like to uh, to venture I'll alongside you here. It's really old. Oh no, they're gone. Oh, I left. I'm sorry. I'm really fast for. <laughs> she rolling. We're supposed plane. back into we our all warmed scene. up. We we are oh. going into the valley of caves, and Nex is yes. guiding them down. And mm -hmm. you guys come into kind of like this muddy, like you're you're on the river bank now. And all she's right. like, yeah, oh, yeah, it smells. It's getting stronger down here. It's somewhere. In Man, it would so suck if you couldn't fly, right, Yor? <laughs> and you guys are just <laughs> flitting and flying and. <laughs> And, right. and, and and Nyx turns around and she Nick turns around and she's like, ah, it's overrated. I've seen a lot of demons yeah. flying around. They it's always get like clipped or something. Under. You know what sucks? Mm. Falling a hundred feet. Oh yeah, mm. that's awful. Um, yeah. You hear clearly three like voices and you recognize them very quickly as orcs as you've had experience with them. So, mm -hmm. so oh, God, orcs Nyx again. is like, oh, these guys. Yeah, I'm ready. All right, listen, it's okay. They're stupid, all right? I could totally just flash some light over in the corner. They'll run away. They'll go look for it. Uh, and you just hear them. They're all kind of grunting. They're like... <laughs> <laughs> and, then, and then you hear one going... <laughs> and then, and then you hear I'm another. mimicking them. That's orc for, I'm stupid. I'm going to go over there and I'm going to do what I want because I'm an orc. Hey, uh, hello there. Um, Yo, orc. Um, uh, I... I <laughs> we just want to pass through. Uh, we're looking for something I'll that help. has nothing to do to do with you mm. at all. Um, but if you don't let us by, unfortunately, we're gonna have to force our way through. So I figured I would do you the what decency. What she means is, she really hey, you orcs, Mo, I would do you the decency so to ask. Huh? Uh, I, Gruthor. Gruthor, don't stand back from fight. Are you fighting, Gruthor? What? Gruthor, no, why if would you were you going to, to speak with them, why would you even tell them that fighting was We don't have to fight. They're going to choose. We don't fight. have They're to. Always... It was more of a. It's just a warning, you guys. I'm just warning Excuse them. Me. Can I roll intimidation? Gruthor, I will not fight you unless you want me to fight you, but I won't fight you. I'll kill you. Y'all got names like Gruthor, Uthor, and Ruthor, and y'all think that I'm funny? Oh, I got you with the funny. I got you. Wait, you just wait. Let me pull out my sword and my dagger, and y'all can both get hands. Not even hands. I'm about to get these blades. I'm about to get all of this smoke. Try me. Try me. You're a death by thumb cut. That's me. That's me. Oh, oh, and they, they fall over laughing. They are now prone. They're laughing and laughing. And Yoru goes, and you're trying to actually hurt them, right? Like, you've you got your crossbow out, yeah. and you pin <laughs> one of them to the gate. To the, I mean, to the, to the bridge. Ooh. You pin him to the nice. bridge. And he's like, oh, uh, uh, uh. <laughs> and, uh, and for Feline, you are mm. throwing your dagger, and the butt of this dagger hits one right in the temple, and he just goes, Whoa. Yeah, 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 for mm -hmm. sure. Like, <laughs> and then for C, C, you were attacking yeah. with your kukri or your your daggers. Which what were you attacking with? Um, I have dual dual wielding one dagger, one short sword. So one are you are you trying to hurt them? Or exactly. Are you trying to Who's laughing them? now? Laugh at that. Laugh I'll at that. Say, um, so how intense do you want to get? Oh, what I'm you, always intense. I'm for? always 100. percent I'm zero to 100. Let's go. Are you going for the jugular? I'm going in. Laugh at this. You Laugh. go in and you slice this orc's throat open. Ah, glorious. Oh, oh, we're killing now. Yeah, okay. I am. So, I am. So, of course. What's funny? Feline, what's funny? What's funny? Feline is like, oh, 
oh god what what <laughs> and and this oh, yeah. one and this one starts to just bleed out this one is bleeding i laugh out. can i laugh i've seen worse <laughs> yes <laughs> Okay, I'm sorry. So now wait, wait, see. where's my thing? Where's my thing? <laughs> <laughs> Look, see, you've made them smile with his throat now. Oh, my God. So now oh he's smiling with his throat. Nice. Oh, wait, 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 let me check the dead orc's purse. Does he have any money? They, Ooh, they good seem choice. to oh, have a idea. lot of, of, of uh, if you look into his knapsack, it's like an orc's, it, it's like an orc's, like, lunch sack and and you see huh. a little note and it's scribbled in the note no it oh says, no with love from mom orc <laughs> oh no can i like can i like like do like a small like burial ceremony in honor of absolutely the orc? it'll it will take you a bit <laughs> yes, you can do that you can do like a hmm? little mini that. shrine and gather yeah 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 i just want to build up like a yeah, little like yeah. orc shrine and like put the note there and the lead's, like no, we have to make what? And this yeah. orc is still pinned. Yeah, just like sad. We can use the pin dog as the gravestone. What's the problem? Oh, he's here. And, and yes, the orc doesn't idea. like that. He's like, oh, oh, oh! Please, I have family. I have family. I have baby orc at home. I, I just bring Uthor home. Let me take Uthor. We don't bother you no more. It's <laughs> all right. You know what? You know what? I agree with that. Now you have to decide to. You know, my friends have to decide to agree with that. So it's up to you. Guys. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah, no, let her. I'm totally down. I'm like, I'm just like, yeah, you know what? Oh, I'm eight, one grave. Yo, do you think I want to kill her? It's fine. I no, no, love just when, pe Please I when, love when people beg. She's begged wonderfully. Please, it's very important for people to know your your reputation. No, so let her go. For this. And yeah, let, let her, her go. Know who we are. It's fine. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, all right. So she, she. Graciously, while, awesome. While you guys are talking, and she kind of hears y'all say, "Oh yeah, we'll let you go." She yanks the arrow out of the bridge, finally finding her strength, <laughs> and she grabs Uthor by his shoulders, and she she drags him away back to. The I would like shop. to try to shoot an arrow at them as they go by, not just not to kill them, but just to graze them a little just bit, to, just, just to, to let them know. The extra. You'll have to yeah. take a minus two if you're trying to aim like with precision and not hurt them. Wait, wait. You said you rolled a six. Mm-hmm. You try your best to aim away from no. which, which orc are you aiming at? <laughs> mm, the one on his shoulder. You the one she's dragging. Him, but you hit him. Just right square in the shoulder. Oh, Again. That's fine. With the with the with the other orc that she's carrying. But it doesn't kill him, right? No. You gotta roll damage. You gotta roll oh, damage. Shit. He's looking way worse now because they already had like ten points done. <laughs> and he's on his I think oh my god wait do you kill him oh please don't please that man was like one hit point in her arms like while no. she's trying to get to safety I'll be honest if you roll he that he said damage, she wanted to take him home she didn't say he had to be alive you kill that's him that's true shit <laughs> if you were aiming at the orc on her shoulder you kill him and He's, he's like bleeding out if she doesn't stabilize him he will fully die but he is now unconscious and she kind of goes oh, 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 and you see her I'm, throw I'm, him onto the ground and she starts to do like orc CPR and, and oh she's like oh, 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 oh. I'm gonna throw a bandage at her and tell her to go ahead and cover that up <laughs> I like, I like, mean to fully do pre something. Can I preemptively I just, just like yeah. put another put put another uh, tombstone down right next to the other one? <laughs> oh, yeah, that's the point. I do something. You, you get no, she wants to be a savage too. Let her be a get savage. Another tombstone ready. Preemptively, just ready. You you just have. All right, rip. You have two tombstones just at the ready. Oh, goodness. She kind of looks at you and she's got river. tears streaming down her face. Yeah, let's just cross face. the bridge, guys. I'm going to contemplate my life choices and how we got here. <laughs> so she starts, she starts, she gets really angry. No, but and you start hearing, I would know. she just starts screaming and screaming and screaming. And you think you hear something about approaching in the distance like a lot of feet oh no a lot, a lot of something 
Oh my god, and, no! And there's that Dead, <laughs> shut up! Jeez! <laughs> and there's just that bleeding. famous orc war cry, and it's almost like out of World of Warcraft. You see <laughs> all of these orcs line up on the edge of this why valley. Did you have to, why? <laughs> why? Why? See, oh, look, why? Look, she had to. She had to. And, and it wasn't me! It was her! <laughs> <laughs> so you guys have a split second to decide where you go next. Yeah, At, that is to go. up to you. You guys will decide <laughs> as we go on our next scene setting. Oh my god. <laughs> This, so where's this mushroom? I like the wind, bullseye. This went so south. <laughs> but here, our, our fey creatures run from the orcs. They're bearing down on them with their bows and arrows as the valley is filled almost like the 300 with just the sky turns black and arrows start to pour down. The rivers, all of the birds fly away. Squirrels run for their, their trees and raccoons and all the other critters hide in their holes as there is a full-on just cry of outrage as they have killed Gruthor and Uthor. So now we will be ending up somewhere very, very shiny and I made it super, super vague for a reason. Super vague for a reason. But I'm really excited to see where you guys take this. And this is where you are. I'm gonna get him, Jackalope. Wow. You know it. Uh, Always choose violence. Always. And you see the Not caves? Wow. The caves are kind of, this little layer is kind of built into the caves, but you can still hear the outside kind of pouring in from the front of this, this place that you found. Wow. What do you guys do? And Yoru, you look around and you say, huh. And you look at the things that are on the shelves and you even take a look through some of the books and you recognize the handwriting. Oh, sh Right. You see a mirror. A large yeah. mirror. And right. this mirror, when you walk up to it, it starts to glow and a face appears. Oh. All right, Snow White, what are we doing? It says, who Snow are here? you? Small creature. <laughs> All right. Uh, well, I'm what's called a fairy, okay? And, uh, you know, I'm a secret of knowledge. It's all well and good. What, what exactly happened? Where are we? Well, it seems you've come across my master's lamb. I suggest you leave before she comes and kills you all. <laughs> As y'all are saying that, the mirror, uh, you know, kind of, the, the face in the mirror kind of fades back and it reveals this kind of like, like a, a hidden garden. And there's mm. this little girl sitting there at mm. this fountain. And her skin is pale as snow, and her hair is raven black. And she's just kind of sitting there, you know, got a little knapsack. Looks like she's just on, on the road. She's got a little stick with her little knapsack on there. She's kind of crying and tearing up. And the mirror says, this is the object of her obsession. She can't stand to be not the fairest of them all, and she's taken out her frustrations on this poor child who just happens oh. to be a little prettier than her. I, I tell my mistress all the time. Right, don't compare yourself to others, but she doesn't listen. You know, other success does not mean your failure, but she, she just can't hear, and I clearly am just a mirror to her. Now... My mistress was seeking this toadstool to poison this child, as <sighs> that is her design. But also, also to take her heart for her phylactery, as a human sacrifice is needed to complete this ritual. My mistress is on her way. She is coming. She can get these clean. mistress hands, but you know, and the sign you guys, is right. you guys get an image. And the, it kind of swirls and it shifts away, like kind of like particles of dust almost. Mm. And then it flashes, and you see the old crone making her way through the woods. And she is not far at all. You actually see the entrance of this kind of built into like these caverns and this door into this lair. And she is approaching. What do you all do? As I load up this queen. 
Uh, let me, I want to ask. ask. Oh, go ahead. Yeah. Take, ask no, all go the ahead. questions. This is the time. What is your master? If she's not human, or if she is, what what is her true form? Exactly? My master is an undead. Okay. Ooh. Oh, excellent. I, I'm I'm going into wild shape immediately into awesome. bear form. All right, you're a bear. Red B <laughs> character. So, Helene snaps a twig, and this magic pours from her very soles of her feet. Uh, yes. <laughs> and then a bear just, <laughs> just yes, <laughs> yes. I love it. It becomes I a love bear. It. I love that. That's perfect. And and you guys watch and next kind of goes oh oh whoa I wasn't expecting that oh, oh so so we about to turn up wait hold on are we fighting the lich are we about to turn up yeah let's go we're fighting the lich guys this is oh this is exciting I, I guess we lich ain't got nothing on me <laughs> I was like I guess I thought I was just looking for toadstools but I was really just looking for trouble <laughs> and you guys hear a message in your mind. And you hear. <laughs> Me too, Joe. Me too. You all found what you weren't supposed to find. Typical. I shouldn't ask a wild fairy to do a job that must be done by a professional. Sam, if it's typical, I'm gonna need you to hide your stuff better, because it's the ear She can't, it's she bad. can't hear you. This is messy. I know, but I'm just, you know, I'm <laughs> if, if you are sometimes. actually trying to respond, but I feel you, I feel you. You turn <laughs> around, you turn to your, you were like, do you hear this? This lady over here, if she didn't want us to find her stuff, then she'd have put it somewhere, or we wouldn't be able to find it. And then Nex is like, oh, you guys hear that? I think we're in shit for a fight. And she says, and come into the light where I can see all of you. So all right, this door then. opens and the queen, the witch, is waiting for you guys. And she turns slowly. And mm. I, I kind of want to just, I kind of want to just insinuate yeah. how, yeah. Ma'am, ma'am, you look better Ooh. as an old lady. Yeah. You look better as an old woman. I'm going to need you to, like, why did you think this was going to be a good idea? You should have stayed looking like the old lady. Are you just roasting? Are you just roasting? Yeah, I'm roasting. I'm roasting. <laughs> what type of roasting? You gotta roll your charisma or something if you're trying. To, unless these are just what this is just what you say. Like, yeah, y'all want to smash for a minute? Yeah, y'all want to smash for a minute? I rolled a nine. Is that good enough? She just looks at you with the side of her eye, and she's just like, and she just rolls her eyes. All right, look at her face. She's obviously been looking in her own mirror. She saw her own face and she looks absolutely surprised and ghastly. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, dear. All right, Yoru, you see this lich basically gearing up, getting ready to attack you guys. What do you do? I'm not usually one to attack first, but this does seem like we need to nip this in the bud very quickly. You so go, girl. I'll do my best. Um, yes, I'd like to attack you with my. Longbow, please. So you aim that first shot, and it, it kind of sails past her face, and she's just like... <laughs> so, what do you do now? All right, let's see. <laughs> oh, let's see what that was. 14 plus 4. Excellent. Four, four, that is Yoru misses that first shot, but that second shot hits her yeah. right in her neck. Perfect. And, Excellent. And she is, she's kind of upset about that, that you smack her right there in the face. Mm. Oh. And in chat, you can see how much health this, this lich has. But now it is her turn. And you see <laughs> her finger light up. Oh. And it looks almost like this purplish kind of Sinister looking light. Ah, oh, sinister. Oh, oh yeah, is. sinister. Oh uh -huh. god. And she Powerful aims she aims and points her finger at you. And you oh, see you three can. beams of light uh -huh. come out of her fingers. And uh -huh. it smacks you straight in the face as you are hit with magic missile. And that does kinda hurt. It does kinda Yeah. It does kind of hurt, so you just mm, boom. Oh. 
Three. And, and, and now your friend looks kind of hurt. What do you do, Feline? Uh, you do, I do have a multi-attack. Nice. One is bite and one is claw. So I'm going to go in with the claw after. Awesome. Okay. And and I'll say that with that roll, you definitely hit with that claw because you're biting down on her. Kind of yeah, holds yeah, yeah. her in place. And oh my, uh. with that bite, <laughs> and you're a bear. You're a bear. Yeah. So that bite, uh. that bite does a D10 and that claw does a D8. She's like, oh, and then you bite into her <laughs> shoulder and you claw into her side. And she's just like, ah, oh, you filthy bear. Now, see, what are you gonna These do? These hands. Let's go. $3.99. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, I'm pretty sure. Okay, wait, two weapon fighting. That means I get to roll both of these for damage. Nice. And then I get to do sneak attack as a bonus. You dodge her, her slice. Yeah, you dodge her swipe artfully, oh. and you slice her in the leg. And, and there's like yes. this scene where you're you're dodging her, and you slice her leg as you slide by, and then you stab her in her arm, and then Feline, you roar in her face, and she's distracted, and then you stab her in the back, doing that extra damage. Artfully, yes. yeah, oh, all artfully, very, very, very well thought out. So you, Smack. you, you, with your beautiful archery skills, you take aim and and you get her right in her chest this time go That's ahead and good. roll double damage on that d8 nice. so 2d8 plus six but just do the 2d8 first so just roll d8 twice yes okay. i have a seven and then a let's see a five, a seven and a five? 13 plus six, 19 points of damage. Excellent. Mm. Nice, all right, so you, oh, oh you fiends! <laughs> and clearly she's getting irritated and now it is her turn. You, you lean back as if you're about to take another bite, Feline, after mm -mm. your friends have gone and attacked. Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Suddenly, there are two of her. No! Uh, oh dear. Oh no! And a mirror image oh, shoot. Uh, falls from her form. And no. she looks at you and she says, <laughs> You thought it would be that easy. So you take mm -hmm. a five foot step back and you become uh, yourself again. Uh, oh, uh. <laughs> I'm back. Yay. <laughs> nice transition. Nice. I tried. Absolutely I tried to give you guys something, it. you know. That was beautiful. It was good. It was Loved good. It. Mm. And All right. You are now yourself. What do you do? You can do one more thing. You say the words and frost comes from your lips and it goes over this lich. And now she has to make a constitution save. Let's see if she makes that. Wow. That why is my lich not... Let me see. Let me see. Let me see before I say anything. I'm trying. She weak. She weak. Let her get she by. Let her my get lich in. fails this roll, and you Not frost high. her. You oh, frost yes. her. So you Body. do. This is a magic attack. So you do three d six. Three d six damage. Roll oh, three d sixes. Oh snap! Uh, get in there. One, two, three. Yes. Yeah. Nice. You had it for thirteen. Very nice. So you do 13 damage, and now she takes, she has disadvantage on her next weapon attack. So she'll have yes. to roll twice, and she'll take the lowest roll. Oh my god. She mm. is looking kind of hurt, guys. <laughs> yeah, let's she's go. looking oh, pretty hurt. She's, she says, oh, my face. How dare you do that to my face? Oh. Ma'am, that was an improvement on your face, and you know it. Shut oh. up! You see next, open this portal, and these arms start to reach through, these black, wispy arms, and they grab both of the liches. Ooh. And you see her face curl up in horror, and she says, Oh, oh no! Where, where's my... Where's my phylactery? Oh! And she pulls her into this portal and drags her away. And you really? guys are out of battle <gasps> as she disappears into the nether realm. 
and oh, uh, you guys, you did it. You have oh, wow. you have dispelled. I say in celestial, I'm gonna say go in peace. Let's go, right? Go in peace. You have all dispelled this lich. Nick said, ah, she was uh, she was a weak lich anyway. But we do need to find that phylactery. I can smell it in the room. You guys want to deal with her? We should probably destroy it. Yeah. yeah. Investigation. Yeah. yeah. All right. Oh no, she'll take you there. And she goes back towards the mirror, and she says, "You're the phylactery." And the mirror forms again, and it says, "Ah, yes." As much hmm? as I love my mistress, and I am her object of return if she were to be destroyed, it's probably best to not have me around. If you are looking to destroy her, you must destroy me. Easy. Man, even the even the mirror don't even want to be here. I'm going to take my crowbar and smack it. <laughs> the mirror might want to be here. It just knows that if it's here, she's here all the time harassing all of I'm these I'm still going to smack creatures. you with my crowbar. Bye, mirror. So, I so appreciate you. Go ahead and just without any ceremony, while it's talking and it says, destroy me if you must, you take your crowbar and you just smash it. What? In the middle of it talking. You try to smack it and it bounces back like there's this force. Yes. Let me try. And the and the mirror's yeah, like oh, rude. I wanna and say I this mirror. I was in the middle it of it says she'll come back if we don't destroy it. Let's yeah. destroy it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. At least let me get one last sentence out. Yeah, ah. let him ah. You said, you know, destroy me uh, it will please. Back. Destroy me if you must. And mm -hmm. Yoru, do you mm -hmm. try to destroy it? Oh, absolutely, yes. All right, you can do just about anything. Wait, can... I think it had something else to say. What if she comes yeah. back while it's talking? Then I what? I doubt that That's it fair. just got dragged into hell. Can we listen to the mirror first? <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't hear you through my get your, get your hit for 13 on. damage. I'm hit for 13 <laughs> damage. I'm going to cock my crowbar <laughs> again, but go ahead and get your angels. All I'm saying is the part of, the, of me that was damaged was my ears. When the lich hurt me earlier in your fight, so yes, I think I will oh, try to attack that's it. That's fair. <laughs> so you you breathe, you pose like you poise yourself, and then with a really quick and decisive just whoosh, with your spear, almost like you had trained for that. <laughs> it shatters, but you do need to make oh. a will a wisdom save. Oh yay! I got a twenty. Excellent. Yeah. So you feel this force like push on you, but you <laughs> steal yourself and you aren't knocked back. And the phylactery is destroyed. And you'll, you hear the mirror say, I won't forget you. And you guys have cleared out this lair. The witch is dead. And you all yeah. return back to her cottage, ransack her things. <laughs> and what we should have done in what, the first what place. You, what you do, I mean, there's there's so many pies I mean, and things left. It would have mattered. We still probably would have had a fighter. We and a little a girl, earlier. a little girl, similar to probably who you saw in the mirror, steps really? into the clearing. Fully, oh, you see girl. her first. And she looks lost. She looks a little dirty. She looks like she's running from someone. Hmm. And that's where we end our session. Nice. Y'all did amazing. Oh man, you know that 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 lich fight went so much better than I thought it would. I was sitting there like, man, this <laughs> lich is just rolling so low. Today. I was that? really expecting one of us to die. <laughs> oh, I couldn't man. Kill this all. Is yeah, oh, so man. all you have to have is the willpower. Screw a lich. I ain't scared of nobody. I was like, I don't even know what a lich is. Am I supposed to be afraid? <laughs> Right. Guess so. And that's good that you were, because that one was pathetic.